Oh, you know, River City, you could be frittering away. I say, your young men will be frittering. Frittering away at their noontime, suppertime, chore time, too. Get the ball in the pocket, never mind getting the dandelion hold of the screen door patch or the beefsteak pound. I'd like to know what kind of conversation goes on while they're loafing around the hall. They'd be trying out Bebo, trying out Cubeb, trying out Taylor Mates like cigarette beans, and bragging all about how they're gonna cover up a telltale breath of sense anymore. Right here! Gotta figure out a way to keep the young ones moral after school. Our children's children gonna have trouble. Mothers of River City, heed that warning before it's too late. Watch the telltale signs of corruption. The moment your son leaves the house, does he rebuckle his knickerbockers below the knee? Is there a nicotine stain on his index finger? A dime novel hidden in the cord crib? Is he starting to memorize jokes from Captain Billy's whiz bang? Are certain words creeping into his conversation? Words like sweat and so's your old man. Well, if so, my friends, we got trouble. Oh, it's a long time to the Madison Public Library was entrusted to me for the purpose of improving River City's cultural level. I can't help my concern that the ladies of River City keep ignoring all my counsel and advice. But darling, when a woman has a husband and you've got none, why should she take advice from you? Even if you can't talk bulls like Shakespeare and all the mother pipe freaks. Mom, if you don't mind my saying so, you have a bad habit of being on <coughs> subject. Now I haven't changed the subject. I was talking about the stranger. What stranger? A suitcase who may be a very last chance. Mama, do you think that I'm a bad of common masher? No, really, Mama. I have my standards where men are concerned, and I have no intention. I know all about your standards, and if you don't mind me saying so, there's not a man alive who can hope to get you up to that kind of home.
Excuse me, young lady, miss, what is your name? Zanita. I had no idea you stepped into me. Thank God. Zanita, do you know Tommy Gilas? Well, uh, Tommy, this is Zanita. Escort the young lady home. Only oh, except that I'm not going home. I got to go to the library first. Then escort the young lady home by way of the library, by way of the candy kitchen. <laughs> yes, sir. Do I have to? Oh, yes, you have to. Ice cream, but I don't sing, young man, if that's what you're thinking. Then say it. Down here, ice cream talks low ice cream. See, singing is only sustained talking. <laughs> now you ice cream. Now you writing ice cream. Now you, sir. Men without the other three. Oh, no, sir, you're wrong. Why, they hated each other for 15 years. Ice cream, ice cream, ice cream. How can they? But it takes four weeks for the uniforms. Oh, no, Craig, you haven't added uniforms. Uniforms and instruction books. Instruction? But you can't pass yourself off as a music professor. I mean, not for any four weeks. Oh, Mars. But you, you don't know one note from another. I have a new method called the think system, where <laughs> you don't bother with notes. It's a refined operation. And I've got the time right down to the last wave of the brake man's hand on the last train out of town. Now, Mr. Washburn, would you excuse me? Oh, you're gonna line yourself up a little canoodling, huh? Well, well say, I could take Shepard Ethel's sister. Lovely girl teaches Sunday school. Oh, no. No wide-eyed, eager, wholesome, innocent Sunday school teacher for me. That kind of girl spins webs, no spider ever. Now listen, boy. A girl who trades on all that purity merely wants to trade my independence for her security. Only affirmative she will find First to marching down the aisle No golden glories gleaming pristine goddess No sir, for no Diana Do I play fun, I can tell you that right now I snarl, I hiss How can ignorance be compared to bliss? I spark, I fizz For the lady who knows what time it is I cheer and I rave For the virtue I'm too late to say the sad Child ties knots, no sailor ever knew. I prefer to take a chance on a more adult romance. No dewy young miss who keeps resisting all the time she keeps insisting. No wide eyed, wholesome, innocent female. No, sir, why she's the fisherman, I'm the fish you see. Block, I flinch, I shy, but the last with the delicate air of why I smile. I grin when the gal with the touch of sin walks in. I hope, I pray for Hester to win just one more A. The sadder but the wiser girl, the girl for me. The sadder but wiser girl for me. Growing and coming from his place. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That woman made raise the temperature. Look at your chin, Jeremy. Talking a little chin, going to the 
help us with the library caught on fire and the volunteer hose were given had to whisper the news to Marion. Madam Librarian, what can I say, my dear, to make it clear, I need you badly, badly, madam librarian.
Once more, 
time, you seem to get us off the subject somehow. <laughs> now, uh, I have just what you want up in my hotel. Take me a second. Sorry, we're going to have to go along with you. Yes, well, let's just see if I have my key. Oh, what's this? Oh, a testimonial from Madame Reed, the only female bassoon player to ever appear on the Red Hat circuit. Her stage name, of course. Actually, she was from Moline. Lila Rose Quackenbush. Can I see that for a minute? Oh, you'll never forget that name. Lila Rose. Same as in the old song. Lila Rose, I'm home again, home To get the sun back in the sky. Lila Rose, I'm home again, Rose, about a thousand. Try me. 